This is a mix with low pass filters. This is a mix without low pass filters. Hi, you're here. So, low pass filter is really difficult to understand how to use because the name of low pass filter sounds like it's going to muddy the sound up, but believe it or not, it is completely opposite. So, if you understand how to use it properly, that your mixes are going to be way more clear than before. So it's really counterintuitive. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to use it and how important it is. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so in order to understand the importance of low pass filter, so let's take a look at a uh, kick. So, by the way, this is a song called uh, Sakura, uh, released around a month ago, written by me. And Actually, this I think this is a really cool song. So if you haven't checked, yeah, please check it out. Yeah, so it's so cool for me. Yeah, by the way, okay, so let's get started. So then this is an uh, actual EQ curve I used on Sakura. Then, so sounds like this in the context. Okay, so then I'm going to remove this low pass filter at uh, 6K health, and then in the context, it sounds like this. So without low pass filter, it sounds out really too much. So then, so I use low pass filter, but so it's really hard to understand where to stop, where to set. So then, so in order to understand where to set, I made a, yes, add a EQ uh, section. Uh, I'm going to shift this uh, low pass filter to deeper side. Then, so I'm going to uh, decide where to set. Okay, so let's listen to it with uh, in the context. Sounds like this. Yes, so around 10k, uh, we, uh, the kick is going to lose uh, tons of information around uh, high end. But so around 10k, so okay, let's okay, let's set it 10k, and then okay, let's listen to it again. Yes, so it starts losing uh, high end information uh, from 10k hertz but so the information uh, lost from this frequency is not important i think because okay so let's flip out this low pass filter to high pass filter then let's listen to it in uh, with in a vacuum and sounds like this So frequencies I cut is sounds like this. Do you guys tell that uh, this is a kick uh, by listening to this sound? Actually, I can't. So that's why I said that this information is not important. So, okay, let's uh, get back to low pass filter. Then, so in, in a vacuum sounds like this. Now it has uh, tons of clicky sound yet. So then, so I think this is a really great uh, position to set uh, low pass filter. But so I want to set uh, more deeper uh, because 
uh, th this song is really uh, lo-fi vibe uh, because so by the way this song is um, based on the traditional Japanese song then so I wanted the song have more uh, lo-fi vibe or more traditional vibe then so I set the EQ more deeper uh, area so then so let's uh, shift to EQ deeper side so it sounds like this Yeah, around 6K, the kick is going to lose the really important information. So the clickiness of the information, uh, the kick sound. So then I stop around here, 6K. So then, okay, let's listen to it in the context again. Yeah, it does have really lo-fi sounding uh, kind of um, clicky kick, I guess. I know that this is a really contradiction, but so I love this kind of lo-fi vibe clicky sound. But if you like more a uh, hi-fi sound, it's gonna be here probably, it sounds like this. But I thought it is too much, then so I set it around here. Okay, this is how to set low fast filter. But you guys know that the core of kick sound is lower a frequency around uh, what, 100 hertz or something like that. Then so that's why we can uh, shift low pass filter really deeper area. But so what if that track has tons of high frequency information such as symbols okay this is an eq curve of the uh, symbols uh, in the songs then okay let's listen to it in the context and then i'm going to remove this low pass filter and then i'm going to talk about it okay sounds like this Okay, you guys know that symbols have tons of uh, high frequency information. Then, so I set this low pass filter around at uh, 15k hertz. This is really uh, higher than before. So, because reason why is that higher frequencies are really important. So on this track, but so if I set it lower, probably it's going to be really muddy. So it sounds like this. Yes, 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 yes. Around 8K hertz, 8K hertz or something like that, it's gonna be really muddy and then it's going to be really low fi in a bad way. So then I said it's 15K hertz. Okay, let's listen to it in the vacuum. Okay, sounds like this. Okay, so by setting this low pass filter at by uh, at 15k hertz, actually it doesn't lose tons of information of symbols, but it cuts around it cuts information of hi hats. Uh, it's going the hi hats going to be uh, a really uh, a little bit attenuated. It's gonna not have tons of uh, ear piercing frequencies and uh, sizzle. sizzle of hi-hats so that's why i said 15k hertz but so around here
Yeah, so the symbols going to lose a tons of airy frequencies or sizzling frequencies in a good way. So I wanted to preserve that uh, sizzle or airy frequencies of symbols. That's why I set 15k hertz. Okay, now you understand how to use low pass filters uh, kind of uh, for a low frequency centric um, track and high frequency centric, uh, centric track uh, such as kick and cymbals. But so what if the track has tons of information around low to high such as metal guitars? Okay, so this is an uh, actual EQ of uh, onto rhythm guitars of Sakura uh, in my song, and then so I'm going to listen to uh, this uh, rhythm guitar sound uh, in the context, and then I'm going to remove this low pass filter. Uh, okay, then so let's compare them. Okay, sounds like this. Yes, so to be honest with you guys, it's hard, it's really hard to tell the difference. But if the guitars are listened to in a solo, like for example, do 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 like this. Yes, this area and then in this case the low pass if the low pass filter is removed, the guitars are going to be really ear piercing and really it has really a uh, sizzle sound or sounds like this yes so difference is really tiny but so in order to understand so how less important the these these areas are so i flip it out and then sounds like this yes okay so let's listen to the actual uh, guitar sound without a uh, low pass filter and sounds like this in a vacuum, we tend to think this sounds good, but in the context, there is a no difference. So then we could cut, uh, we can cut this uh, this area. So so, but by this cutting this area, what did I get? So we got tons of headroom of this truck. Yeah. So yeah. So difference. If the difference is tiny, we can cut because we it's not audible so i think the inaudible sound should be cut uh, in order to get uh, tons of headroom onto your truck yeah this is the reason why i cut uh, this uh, guitar sound at 7k hertz yeah but so yeah it is really counterintuitive but if i cut this frequency the uh, sizzle uh, is not going to conflict onto a uh, symbols so this is a really a uh, great technique for me to separate the the area of instruments because cymbals should be higher range and guitars are mid-centric uh, instrument I think so then they should be in the mid and the kick is lower a frequency centric instrument then it should be lower then so lower is kick mid is guitar and then higher is uh, cymbals what is mixing so mixing is not processing mixing is where to set instrument so for example so lower is lower and higher is higher and left one is left right one is right or something like that then so it's not processing. Mixing is where to set, I think. Then that's why we set a low pass filter and high pass filter to uh, attenuate uh, the impor less important frequencies. Okay, that's all for this video. Then, so actually, this is a really niche video because low pass filter is really hard 
to understand. So as I said earlier, but once you learn how to use lupus filters and compressors, your mixes are gonna be really professional sounding mixes, I think. So and that's why I made this video for you guys. Learning sexy stuff are really enjoyable, but actually mixing is not kind of a fun thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I made uh, this niche video. Yeah, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and smash the like button. Then, so until next time, bye bye.